What's up, Jake Paulus? Hope you're all <laughs> dabbing on the haters. You're performing an upward arm movement upon the haters. So today we're going to be doing a, a dab study upon the world's most popular YouTuber and supreme overlord of the entire universe, Jake Paul. The next time I see Kendra, I'm ripping her head off. Do it. She doesn't know who she's messing with. Ouch, Tommy! Ah! Times two. Then on a test, x squared minus 4 AC divided by the sun's mass divided. Netflix and chill. Ah! 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 x squared. You gonna be just for a second. Hey, Logan. Now you may have noticed a lot of YouTubers jumping up at the opportunity to make more videos on Jake Paul and a lot of them begin the video with a tagline such as I didn't I didn't want to make a video on him. I, 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 re I really didn't. You know, the thing is I really didn't want to talk about this guy again but the more and more life goes on he just gets worse and worse. You did want to put his name in the title and you did want to make a video on him because it's going to make you so much money. You know Jake Paul in that rap with Logan saying how you put him in the title of a video you pay your month's rent. Name in your title and you can pay this month's rent. With the money generated from this video, I'm gonna buy myself a Lambo. Well, probably not, because the ad apocalypse and about 10% of my viewers actually get an ad. So, I'm not gonna buy a Lambo, but I'll buy a lot of Star Mix. Hey guys, Jeff here with a review of Haribo's Star Mix. <laughs> it's every day, bro, with a Disney Channel blow. Five million YouTube in six months. No now, as of late, Jake Paul's ego has. EXPANDED to the point where he's now being featured on mainstream news and not for a good reason more like he's making a living hell for his fellow neighbors that's right rick and mb he is a social media megastar his name is jake paul we should know 20 year old disney actor is a pop culture powerhouse with 8.5 million followers on instagram and youtube he rents a large house in an upscale West Hollywood neighborhood, and this tight-knit community has become the new setting for many of his pranks and performances. He apparently makes his address no secret, and that piece of information draws an endless stream of fans, mostly young girls, the day we visited, and their parents to the property. Now I can imagine the Jake Paul army making such arguments like, it's not his fault he's famous, he has people visiting his house, he can't stop that, that's not his fault. But for any hardcore defenders of Jake Paul, I just want to make it apparent, they have basically doxxed themselves. They have posted their own public home address online. For you to go and see, go visit them. Go to business, Team 10 House. Go visit them, please. Visit us so we can feel like we're worth something. Please. I just, I just want to, I just want to say something quick to all the, uh, all the Jake Paulers out there. Something serious. We are savages. We are always lit. We are powerful. We prank people. We love Team 10. We love Bizarre Vark. We are Jake Paulers. Out of Jake Paul. Are white people a good thing for society or not? Please comment down below. And their parents to the property. He's funny. Sad. <laughs> savage? Yeah. yeah. He's just so savage. Savage. Right? Like, oh my god, like Jake Paul? Savage. savage. What is he? Savage. savage! Now, one of the biggest criticisms the neighbors living around Jake Paul had was the fact how, in his backyard, he got a bunch of furniture and set it on fire. A recent stunt involved tossing furniture into an empty pool and setting the pile on fire. Neighbors say flames eventually grew higher than the house, and as the pit was burning and smoking, they were fuming. We used to be a really nice, quiet street, and now we're just this, like, war zone. It's only a fire, bro. I, I, burn, I burn things in my backyard. I, I chop down a tree, and I set it on fire. To any of you trying to belittle the fact that he's creating a fire in his backyard, he's also done other ridiculous things in his house. Like, for example, when he drove a motorcycle worth several thousand dollars into a pool, destroying it. You've got to love the contrast between the LA neighbors that have worked hard to buy their property. Well, to be honest, they probably didn't. Uh, do, do you know a rich person that's self-made? A small loan. We're families here, and we're more than happy to have them live here if they're respectful of their neighbors, but they're not. 
but as neighbors living with this every day, we're fed up. And then on the opposite side of the court, you've got the Jake Paul fans. Savage! He's a savage! savage. What's that? He killed a man! A savage. savage! So we've mentioned some things about Jake Paul that aren't exactly the best, but then the report takes a turn for the worst. Jake Paul himself pulls up in front of the news team and he acts about as white as Casper the Ghost. Jake, I wouldn't do that. Look at you. I wouldn't crawl up there. Why? Okay. I just wouldn't do that. A lot of the neighbors are complaining. They're very upset. No, why? Jake, I'm, I'm just going to give you some advice uh, from the other side of the pond, all right? Great Britain. Uh, do not stand on private owned property. Yeah, especially a, a company vehicle is pro is probably not the best idea. What do you say to the neighbors though that are upset? Then uh, they're really no, upset. No, I I honestly can't beat them, join them. No, I'm honestly yeah, it's terrible. It's a bad situation. No, I feel bad for them yeah. for sure. Uh, there's nothing we could do though. The Jake Paulers are the strongest army out there. Dab. So Jake Paul is being told he's causing a nuisance. He's making his neighbor's life a living hell. What's his excuse? J. Paul is the strongest, and then he finishes it off with a dab. That is nothing compared to what this boy does next. I have one question for you. Yeah? What are those? <laughs> Honestly, the concept of Jake Paul is pretty terrifying. His fan base defend him and treat him like a god. Uh, anyone that questions Jake Paul, such as myself, there will be a lot of comments down below where text chat warriors are typing away, just just saying something along the lines of F you Logan. Even though I've not mentioned Logan Paul at all in this video, they will they will bring up Logan because they are dumb. Outside of this report, other members of the Team 10 House were also asked about this whole situation with the LA neighbors. And to say they're lying. A, l a little bit of an understatement, a little bit. Yeah, I mean, you, you guys are, that is crazy. It's pretty lit from the inside, though. That's yeah, it, I mean, they, drastic. yeah, they said it's like a war zone out here, and like, mm -hmm. there's like fires and stuff, catching on fire and all that. We have really good yeah. special effects out there in the back. I don't see any fires, so that's crazy. England is my city, England is my city, England is my city. Now, there is a silver lining to this report, because Nick Crompton, the one that you keep saying looks like me, stop that. Stop it. He actually went out of his way to make a statement issuing a public apology for everyone's actions in the Team 10 house. A friend issuing this statement on his behalf. We totally sympathize with our neighbors. Mr. Nick Crompton right and there. And delivered letters to them apologizing for the inconvenience and upset that the crowds caused by us living here. Hopefully, we will have a new home to move to. And originally hearing this story, I was overwhelmed with joy because Nick Crumden is actually the only British member of the Team 10 house. So I thought, you know, some British logic coming in the Team 10 house, making everyone grow a second brain cell. Unfortunately, some stuff has surfaced about Nick Crumpton as well, saying how he was basically manipulating people into doing sexual favors so they can join the Team 10 house. Um, I went to LA in February. I met with Nick Crompton. Bear in mind, I'm straight, Nick's gay. And that kind of formed a bit of a barrier right from the outset. Um, he was only interested in um, signing me to Team 10 if he had certain things um, I did to make him happy. And obviously that wasn't going to happen. Team 10, I'll show you some screenshots up here. Um, why? My first week I went into the Team 10 house, met all the guys. Um, if you guys know Team 10 in this industry, you understand that Team 10 are just a bunch of tools. They are not the people they portray themselves to be. They're egotistical, power driven, and it's just awful. But anyways, we're getting a bit off topic. This is about Jake Paul, not England is my city. Go, go away. Go. Go, go away! Now the funny thing is about Jake Paul, there is a lot of damning stuff about him already up on the internet and it's been up for months. The problem is, his vlogs are basically 20 minutes long and you don't want to sit through a 20 minute vlog just to see one thing he's done wrong. So for once, I got my fat ass off Dark Souls 3 and actually started to do some research and see other things that Jake Paul has done that would be considered immoral, shady or just, just being a dumb, dumb white boy. I have recently received the book of Jake Paul's sins. Here, within these pages listed, is every single sin Jake Paul has committed in his entire life. 
allow me to read some of these to you. In this book, we seem to have a testimony of Alyssa Violet talking about how even though she was in a relationship with Jake, Jake himself was banging a different girl every single night. So he flew out this girl from Ohio, right? She walks in the door, I have to like be like, oh hi, yeah, nice to meet you, whatever. And I'd just get back from the gym, I'd be cooking food, and then all of a sudden I'd hear them upstairs like, like I could hear it, I could literally hear it. Like, do you know what that does to a person? So I would just go upstairs to my bathroom or my bedroom and I would just cry myself to sleep, like night after night. But like, dude, you're smashing the guy I'm like in love with. Now going on to the vehicular section, I see that Jake Paul has been acting like a nuisance in public, blaring his horn to scare passers-by, and also parking without paying a fee. Three, two, one. <laughs> so, uh, Jake, did you pay for parking? No, but uh, you can I get out there? Let's do it! Yeah, <laughs> it's an Ohio exit, you know? Yeah, it's Ohio exit. So, Jake, Jake. No, Jake. Oh, oh man. No. no. I'm good. Okay. Oh, let's go. But well, you're supposed to wait for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and there's also a part in here that, that he may or may not have crashed his car, but I don't know, that's not really important. We think we saw Team 10 or Jake Paul's van rear end another car. Oh, look at the axle, Ooh. it's f***ed up. Yeah. Oh, fuck. It's a pretty hell. serious. Look. Yeah, that was definitely them, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Here, I have a page talking about how Jake Paul has acted like a nuisance outside of his car, in public, especially to employees of particular shops. Is Jenny in? I think Jenny's in now. Hey! I'm not Jenny. Jenny's no longer alive. I'm just the supervisor. Jenny's, Jenny's, dead. Jenny's dead! Jenny's dead! Jenny's dead! Don't worry, Lynn. Bye. Come on, you guys, I have a business. You gotta go. Jenny died! <laughs> Look, Uncle K, it says team members only. Oh, wait, we're a team, right? We're team 10 team members. 10. <laughs> if you guys are not supposed to be down here. Oh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a prank. Oh. It's a prank. It's the other entrance. <laughs> <laughs> now we're getting kicked out. Am I going to show up on your vlog, man? Come on. He's just trying to be an uncle. This guy, <laughs> he doesn't talk. Good prank. So, all in all, there's a monarchy in the team 10 house with Jake Paul as the single ruler and everyone else, they're the slaves, basically. They're like little Korean children that make your iPhones. And honestly, without getting too deep here, I don't even think Jake Paul is the main culprit. He's the symptom of a bigger problem. This is today's culture. This is what preteens and young kids want to see. They want to see dumb people acting stupid in public, and they classify their horrible actions as Savage. Savage! People with original content don't really seem to get the recognition they deserve, and now it's just corporate Disney channels rising to the top. So, this is the society we gotta live in. I'm not happy with it, and I'm gonna criticize it as much as I want. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new to the channel, comment any thoughts, any feelings, how much you're repping the Low Gang or the Jake Paulers, and make sure you